How's it going guys? It is uh, June 18th here. Um, it's about 3.40 a.m. in the morning. Um, this is our second all-nighter. It's mostly because it gets too hot and windy in the, during the afternoon to spray. So we typically start spraying at about 7 p.m. And uh, we'll continue spraying until about 2 p.m. or until it gets too hot and too windy. Grab a few hours of some shut-eye and then back at it again. That is farming. That's what every farmer is doing right now. And uh, that's what we will continue to do. As you can see, the sun is nicely starting to come up over there. It's looking pretty awesome. Currently, we have rolled into a 1,740-acre field with uh, five sprayers, and uh, we are literally destroying this thing. It has taken us no time flat at all to get this done, and it's a lot of fun. Um, as I said, it's the middle of the night. Sometimes you gotta fight off the odd sleepy, and uh, so what we have done to keep our brains um, fully functioning and exercising is uh, we have we are not using any CB or any two-way radios and we are not sharing any lines as you guys know that we do not share lines and um, we're on lentils and it's really hard to see our tracks because the lentils are only this tall they just spring right back up again and the grounds like concrete so you can't see our tracks right so it can be a bit of a challenge. So what we'll do, we'll all roll in and we'll boom, 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 boom. We'll all grab the same line. Well, Mike, what do you mean you're gonna grab the same line? I, I'm completely confused what you mean by grabbing the same line. Well, I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna set a, an AB line, okay? It's gonna be on a 180 degree line angle because uh, we always go by 180s or 90s. And I'm gonna drop it and then they're gonna come up behind me and grab it. Come up behind me, sit on my tracks, grab it. Come up behind me, sit on my tracks, grab it. So that way, all five sprayers will be on the same line. We don't have to share it, because we all now have it. And uh, so then, this 1740 uh, acre field, it is around three miles long. It's pretty awesome, there's hardly any rock piles in it. There is a few washouts though that'll keep you on your toes, so don't go drifting off on a three mile long run. Mike. Are you saying that you could drift off on it? Well, I guess technically if you were seating at only 4.3 miles an hour, yeah, you could probably drift off, have a little cat nap, and by the time you woke up, by the time you might get, <laughs> rewind. Hopefully by the time you got to the other end, you would have woken up, but uh, I do not recommend that. I have not done that, and neither have any of our guys. But in spraying, we are rocking out at about 17 miles an hour, give or take a little bit. And uh, so you get down to the other end very quickly, so I would not recommend having a little doze off. Though, since we do work all night long, um, I do want to point out that uh, we do recommend to any of our guys, if they do get a, a bit of a sleep, because you know how the sleepies come, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just when the sun is coming up, or uh, sometimes it's in the afternoon, like 2 p.m., or maybe right after lunch or supper. Um, you can get a serious case of the sleepies, and everybody is different, everyone's bodies, function different um, we all need a certain amount of sleep that is true but uh, sometimes some people react very well to naps and I am one of those people so if, like if I have like a 20 minute power nap uh, if I start getting really sleepy I'll just I'll just uh, tell them uh, hey I'm gonna take a little power nap here park the sprayer put my seat back set an alarm to make sure I do not exceed 20 minutes or whatever time that I'm looking for. I don't want to accidentally sleep for an hour or some stupid thing, you know what I mean? Because uh, that would ruin me. Uh, but if I can just sleep for 20 minutes, I am a brand new person. I'll be ready to rock and roll for another 24 hours. Um, some people can't nap. Some, like Ashton, she's not much of a napper, my wife. Um, I think I'm kind of training her a little bit. I think she's getting better, but uh, when I first met her, she could not nap. It would just like ruin her. Uh, even if it was a 20 minute nap or a two hour nap, it didn't matter. It, she woke up far more tired than uh, when she had a nap, when she would actually uh, laid her head down on the pillow. I'm gonna put a concentrate just a little bit. You're gonna grab this line. So uh, anyways, we do recommend that. Or if they get tired, they, can, uh, they are uh, more than welcome to just go home. But you gotta remember guys, we love what we do out here. Like this is a lot of fun. So uh, it's kind of like that kid who just got a new PS5 or you know the top of the line Xbox for Christmas. What do you want to do with that thing? You're gonna freaking play that thing all night. I guarantee it. You're gonna play it, but you can't play it anymore. So that's basically what we're doing up here. Anyways, so uh, going back, we're gonna we're backtracking here. I just I I rabbit trail a lot. You guys know about that. And uh, 
So how do we know where we're going? That is a very good question. How, do, how the crap are you running five sprayers, three miles long? Oh, and to make it a little bit more complicated than that, let's see here. Uh, I don't think, I didn't do some of the headlands, so I don't think you're gonna see this. It is an L shape. Okay, so I just, I, I took, <laughs> I went right down the gut. Um, it goes over here. It also comes out over here and then down and there's a great big slough. You gotta do some fill in. This great big slough is where we did all of our uh, pro tail drag races and stuff. If you guys got to see those videos, uh, we were discussing some stuff with Aiko, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys got to see those videos, or at least some of them or most of them are hopefully. Definitely, I can guarantee you didn't see them all. Um, Unless I release some stuff to yeah, exclusively just to Patreon. But anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. Because you got to remember that I'm recording this video right now, June 18. And I have not even uploaded and edited any of that, uh, any of those videos that I did on that Fent 2 track, the John Deere 4 track, the John Deere 2 track, and the Fent 1050 with triples. I have not done anything with that yet um, at the time of this recording. So, uh... Yeah, I definitely got my work cut out for me here. But anyways, so what I did is we all grabbed the same line. I took the gut so it's an L shape, kind of comes like this. Oh, whoa, 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 I can move that thing around. See if I can zoom in on this puppy there a little bit. So I took an edge, it comes out over here. Brian took over here. There's a little block over here. Rick is over here and uh, Mark is over here. And Jared is gonna be kind of in here somewhere. And uh, we just kind of communicate uh, via hand signals, going like this. No, we don't do that. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> uh, we do use uh, WhatsApp if we need to. Yeah, we do have two-way radios. You're right. But uh, if you have to text something, and uh, or we, no one texts anymore. Come on, this is WhatsApp. You just voice record everything. Um, Make sure it just keeps your brain functioning you don't want to just kind of go into dormant mode but uh, we try to do as much as we possibly can without any communication okay without any communication we're just literally just going off of our experience knowing the knowing the basics the 101 oh, let it watch that. because I'm pretty sure that I'll I'm pretty sure I went through that video with you guys and again at the time of this recording I still haven't uploaded and edited that video that I talked about sharing lines and so on and so forth and pop quizzes that I do. And so I don't know if I'll put that out, but if I if I don't, well then you guys are gonna be freaking confused. But uh, anyway. So we're spraying at 10 gallons, 10 gallons an acre. And uh, we're spraying a sure for our grassies. Not much for grassies. There is a few little patches out here though. Lights are pretty good on the Trident. Oh, I think someone's trying to get a hold of me here. I'm not sure. So I think that is Mark. I think that one is Rick, maybe. Someone's loading. Brian might be loading. Oh, we got a bit of a wash out here. Remember I said you gotta yeah. keep you on your toes. I don't know where Jared is. I don't know where he is. He's lost somewhere. I don't know. Okay, guys. Right now, uh, Mark is actually behind me. That was him waiting up there. Uh, there was some communication on his line, so he just grabbed my line real quick there, and now he's venturing back off onto his side. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we do. We, want, we all want to make sure we stay on the same line. Otherwise, it'd be pandemonium. You would have no idea if you didn't stay on the same line. Mike, what do you mean? Well, I don't understand this whole same line business. What's the benefit of being on the... Well, if you're not on the same line, like GPS line, okay? And we're all 120 foot booms. So, uh, 
like I know where I started, so I'll start one way and they're gonna go this way. They're gonna start on the same line and they're gonna go the opposite way. Hold on, we got a rock pile, we got a rock pile. We're just gonna kinda, kinda, kinda gonna go right up and over that little thing right there. Oh yeah, right there, it's down, okay. So uh, I went this way, Rick went this way. He's gonna go until he meets Brian. I'm gonna go until I meet Mark because Mark is working himself this way and I don't know where Jared is somewhere. But anyways, once you meet, then you know that you're perfect because well, you're going to meet or you're going to have a head-on collision. It's going to be one or the other because you have the same freaking GPS line. Got it? Got it. Okay. Now we're moving forward. Um, another washout. It might be a little bit deep here. I don't know. Oh, got to make sure you don't hit. You don't want your booms hit ground. The auto steer is auto steer. Auto boom is not fast enough. Uh, if you go flying through a washout too quick, you got to take manual control and start lifting up the boom in advance. It doesn't matter whether it's a Case, John Deere, Apache, New Holland, doesn't matter. Auto boom will not be fast enough if you go through too quickly. So uh, you want to start lifting it up in advance. Complication. <laughs> Is well, I told you this is 1,740 acres, and we have uh, we got to move. Uh, we got a long move ahead of us here when we finish this, uh, so we need to all be empty, and uh, or close to empty. So uh, we're all trying to figure out how many acres everyone's done without communicating very much. But Brian started out here earlier. He's already done a load or two before anyone else got out here, and then Rick came out, joined him a couple hours, an hour maybe later. And then we all showed up about the same time. Now, Jared, I guess, he showed up later with 110 acres on board. So now we're doing all this quick math. We're like, okay, I'm doing this many loads an acre, and Brian's doing this many acres to a load, and so on and so forth. And we want to run all the sprayers out. So do I just put a three-quarter load in because Jared's coming in with a 110 load, and so on and so forth. So uh, I always makes things fun. Crap! <laughs> Rick. Rick's got a load too. He just got boomed up, literally, in front of me. That guy. That guy. So, Mike, why don't you have the truck there? Well, we do have the truck here. But it's it's a 1,740 acre field. You can't just drive the truck out in the middle of the field. It's three freaking miles long. You gotta kinda drive to the truck if you run out. So, uh, so we do have the truck here and we have water here. So we're all heading to the truck. Apparently, Rick and I are heading to the truck. Okay, Rickles. Okay, Rickles. <laughs> oh, I love this air horn, it's awesome. Park break. I guess now we wait. in there while we do but the thing is uh so we're only going to use these two pallets here and then we're going to take all those and collect them and stick them back up in here uh but lots of times lots of times we uh we'll go through like a semi load of chemical in one spot because maybe we have like 15,000 in one spot to do and this little container is nice but you would need like five semis worth to hold on the boxes so uh all goes off to the side and the big mountain is going to be cleaned up later. Mike, what? Barrels. We don't like barrels, to be honest with you. No. Don't no, we like trucks. Oh, uh, Mike, that sure the heck doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't. So, uh, these are sure jugs. Oh, this is full. I guess I better prep my load here. So the chemical that we're going to put in is called a Sure. It's just a grassy chemical. And uh, they made these new drugs, I think, a year or so ago. And they just, these do not split well. We do have splitters. 
ram it down on that. But these just do not flip because the plastic is too thick. So we'll leave this on. And then we'll just drop it over here. Like that. And then just I'll grab the other one and drop it in.
You also have a wand. That's always clean water. I really like that. All the rinse water is clean water. Sun's gonna start popping through. I love sunrise, it's awesome. Just like that, we're unhooked. I already shut the pump off, turn the lights off. Let's get rocking. Now we have to get back to where we left off. Isn't this red? Like, I don't know. I do not know why I've not taken that off yet. Every time I look at it, I'm like, why haven't I taken that off yet? So when we're all fully out here and uh, spraying, um, we are uh, rocking out about 1,300 acres an hour. Give or take. That's not counting our loading time. We have to load yet, but... Just when we're spraying, that's what we're doing. Probably be in that uh, 1,000 acres an hour average, something like that, since the water's right here on the corner of the field. Might be more than that, I don't know. I've never actually timed it. Just about up over there. Literally just about up. That's awesome. Guys, I got a 
uh, to go. Um, we have to finish this field, and then we're going to boom up, and then we're going to venture up north. We got like that 75 mile move. We're going to head off, and uh, we'll start spraying up north. All right, guys. Have yourself a good one. Adios, amigos.